Hi everyone, my name is Joel. And Isaac. And you're Isaac, that's right. And we're going to do a little review today of this game. That's right. What's um, it called? It's called. M M Mysterious Forest. Mysterious Forest from Yellow Games. Um, what is it, Isaac? Describe it. So describe it. It's a cooperative memory game for families, basically. Uh, this little boy here, show him, show him the little boy. See him there? No, probably down there like that. That little boy there, and you're covering up half of it. Him there, lovely little figure, it's called Jonas. And he's found this uh, painting in his grandma's and, attic. And um, he goes through it and he's in the mysterious forest. That's right, and he has to uh, collect stuff. Well, not collect stuff. Prepare, so, prepare but, his journey. Yeah, and he he collects collects like things where he he ha, where he has to find the monsters. That's right. He has to do all sorts of things in the mysterious forest. Get to the end where there's a big bad and, and fight it. And he won. And he might win. We don't always win, do we? No. So, and that's it. Simple little game. So we go and see how it how it plays, and then we'll come back and give our thoughts, shall we, Isaac? Yeah. Okay. So let's see how it plays, and we'll come back. Right. Let's have a look at the game itself. Um, it's based on a digital comic book that I've, I've found out looking it up um, by the Wormwood Saga or Wormworld Saga. It follows this boy, young boy um, is on summer vacation and he goes to his grandma's and uh, he basically discovers this painting that he can go into on this different world and have an adventure. And this is this is the premise of the game itself as well. You are going into this painting and having an adventure, but you've got to memorize equipment you need to take with you to succeed in going through your adventure. Okay, so we open the box and then, like this box, it's one of these magnetic lid ones. It does hold down pretty well. And at the beginning of the box, it kind of gives you a prologue to what happens in it he's picking up he's putting on his jumper putting on his backpack picking up his wooden sword and then he's going into painting it's like and then what are you going to find is jonas himself is i'm going to get the camera to focus nice little pre-painted model now all he is there is a marker to tell you which card you're on and which one you're trying to do so that's all it is there's a nice little touch and the kids love it so so let's set up a game and then we'll come back to it right now you can see this is a setup of a simple game and um, this is the like, easiest mode which they called Budding Explorers. Uh, it's not actually. It's basically this. Yeah. So this is the basic setup for easy going. Um, you got four adventure cards here. This is just a beginning card. It does nothing really. You got this card here. It's kind of a market card. Um, might get you out of trouble if you're not doing too well as you thought. Two more adventure cards, and then we've got the big boss fight with the big bad. Just stays there. Uh, then we've got, you can see at the top here, just these extra cards. So you've got a few more extra cards so you can do different things with them uh, throughout the game. And then you've got your backpack with lots of spaces for all the uh, goods in reserve to go into okay and then you got the four dice 
which are nicely printed on. So what will happen in the first phase is that each player will in turn take one of these cards and look at it and they can show everyone. But really it's for them to memorize in a way. So you look at it, uh, I need two flowers and a magnifying glass and then you look at the picture and it's beautiful. Art is absolutely gorgeous in this. Looks like it's all taken from the digital artwork itself, a uh, digital comic itself. So take a look at that as well. And then the next pair will look. And they say, all right, I need two gem bags. For some reason he's tripped over and lost his gems. And then he's out practicing fighting, so he needs two swords and a lighter for some reason. I mean, I've not fully read the comic yet. And then the next one, he's trying to, he's falling down a mountain, so he needs his gloves and rope. Now they don't look at this next one here. They don't look at that, but they will look at these two and they will look at the end one. So we'll have a look at the end one. This is, these, there's lots of different ones. They all vary, different items will be needed. This one needs four items. One of them does have three, and that one needs four. So once everyone's looked for it, then the planning stage begins. So what happened with the planning stage is each player will take the four dice and roll them. And then they will select two of the items showing and put them into the rucksack. So I'm going to take the lighter and I'm going to take the cloak. Okay, then the next player will roll. And they will take whatever they got in there. Oh, I needed gem bags. So I'm putting gem bags in. And then you roll again. Now, if you roll this, this he's called Loki. Now, if you roll him, you have to take as a token. Okay. Which is the same as these in here. So you just take one of the tokens, add it to the bag. Okay, and you do that until the till the bags filled up. Okay, so now we've filled up the bag. Bags all filled. We're ready to go on an adventure. So starting again with a player, he flips over the card, and so you remember it's that wonderful picture of a tree, and now he needs the flowers and the magnifying glass which we've got so you can just add them on there and the next pair goes again and we may need the gem bags so luckily we've got some gem bags okay so now we've got to this dude and he's called the wanderer so now you can reveal him and what he's doing is going to do is going to do your exchange if you want to so in this he wants three different items from your backpack and he'll give you these two tokens which are special to uh, the wild tokens basically so we could give him so you give him that give him that and give him that these go back in the reserve and we get these two to add to our rucksack then we continue again with a journey putting stuff out. Now in this last one, in this one here, we're a bit short. We haven't got a sword. No short sword in the backpack. So there's, there's two options. We can use these. These are wild. Uh, say we don't have those. Then we can use these are what are called token, uh, Loki tokens. And you're basically asking Loki for favor. So I flip this one and reveal it and it basically gives you any of those stuff that's on there so look fortunately I flipped over one that's got a sword on it so I can use it last one two string two string in that one unfortunately again not got two string so you could use that we can flip another Loki this one here basically lets you uh, swap a item from your backpack out for anything. So 
So I can get rid of this horn and get this ball of string and add it in. So now I've got the ball of string. To get now the ball of string, we're on the final boss battle. So we're now fighting the big bad. And I should say as well, you should be moving this guy along. Each time you go to a card, you move him along just to represent what you're on. So you flip over the big one. She is now down to big boss guy and Jonas. And if you remember, we needed a horn, we needed a gem bag, a map, and a cloak. So we've got the horn, we've got the map. We're a bit short, so we've got the last power. And then we can flip a Loki token and swap it for anything we want into there. And we won. And we win the game. Now, if you at some point, which has happened, you get to a location and there's not the necessary, you don't have the necessary stuff in there and you don't, Loki doesn't help you or you've not got these, then you're going to lose the game because you've not made it all the way to the last, you've not got to the last boss battle and you've, uh, you've lost the game. And that's it. So that's this basic version. I'll quickly show you what a hard version looks like. Okay, so now I've set up for Heroes of the Forest level, which is five levels up from uh, from the previous one I've just shown you. Uh, as you can see, nothing is in the rucks at this time. Um, so you're relying on dice to fill it up. You've got one, two, three, four, five exploring cards before you even get to the Wanderer. And then you've got another three cards after that, plus then you've still got the final boss fight. So as I said, you are still relying on, so much relying on the dice that you roll correctly, and you're relying on getting Loki on your dice to aid you in like helping you through. It's a little bit more tougher. I uh, did find it a bit of a challenge getting through that. Um, but that's the game really. So, let's get back. You hurt my baby. Okay, Isaac, sit up. Look interested, that's it. Okay, so that's how you play the game. Let's find out, let's find out our thoughts, Isaac. So, what do you think of this game? Um, what, what did you like? I liked when he Fighted the monster. Yeah. You just you do you like going through the adventure? Do you? Um. Do you like that? It makes you think. Makes you use your memory of what you need. Sit up. Does it make you make you remember what you need to collect in your rucksack? Yeah. Very well. Yeah. Do we do it all the time? Do we? <laughs> no. No. No, stop it. Is easy mode a bit too easy? You know, the first game we played this morning? The first one? Yeah, was that a little bit too easy? Do you, do you remember doing it? Yeah. And then what was the next game like? Um, A bit hard. A bit hard, wasn't it? Yeah. Was there anything you don't like? I liked the second, but I didn't like that one. Yeah, you didn't like the second game because you we lost. Yeah. Um. Uh, anything else? What do you think of components? Do you like the boy? Boy's quite nice. What about the big bad? Mm, no. no. But what do you think of everything? Is it, is the artwork nice? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like the artwork in it? Are you interested in knowing more about this story and? Not kind Make, of. Reading some of the books and... What kind of? No? You don't want to find some of the books and read them? You know what's going on? Oh, we'll, we'll find you and see what they're like. Yeah? Yeah? So, yeah, this is so this is our review. I'm that... taking it back to my wife. <laughs> taking the game back to my Yeah, we borrowed this game from Meeple's Corner. So, um, so yeah, this is a a great little family game it's it uses the memory aspect quite 
Well, and you have, and for the second one, we, um, it was really hard. We we didn't know what um we we didn't um have our men. And we didn't. Really. No, we were done a bit round right. Can I talk a bit? Yeah. Right. Okay. So. This is a very good little memory game. It makes the kids, even the adults, use their memory in a different way. Instead yeah. of flipping over different card tiles or cards yeah. and remembering where they are, you've and got to remember a whole sequence of cards. And then you've also relying on the to roll the right dice and to get the stuff into your bag before you go through it. So yes, it's a clever little, um, clever little memory game. It it, it as the artwork is really nice. Um, I haven't looked into the book myself, um, but I will do and see if it's interesting. The kids are playing. I mean, some of the stuff well, is Caitlin over. Hasn't. She's only played it one time. Yeah. Um, like this is like overkill. This all this does is mark where you are on what card. Um, but it's a nice little feature. It really like the kids are like. Oh, that's really nice. I mean, I, I personally would just have the game for this to have as an ornament. It's really nicely done, really nicely painted. Um, nice little touch. Uh, shame the big bads just a standy. They've gone from a little miniature to a standy. Um, so that would be nice just to have as a, a miniature as well. But then you're up in the cost. No real biggie. I mean, they're both superficial. They don't really need to be in it. Tokens are really nice and thick. Um, they will get some wear. Um, dice are good. They There's are. There's only four dices. They look like they could take some good wear on it. Um, the thing is that, as we've said, easy mode is really easy to get through. And when we went to hard mode, it was, it was it was tougher. Really, it was really tougher. It was really tougher. There was a little element to that. I wasn't are, really paying attention to what we were doing. Little kids are really. So I, I was kind of leaving it to Isaac to do, and we second card in, run out of stuff. So I kind of cheated a bit, um, and then second to last card, we run out again. We didn't have it, and we called it. Then it was a loss, but and I was it was a lot more tougher. And I was cheating, wasn't I? <laughs> we we manipulated it a bit. We didn't cheat. Um, so, all in all, it's a nice family game. fun game. Not game. It's not. A it is a game in a way. It's a memory game. Yeah, but it's, it's an activity. And it's a story. It's a story. Get you get the kids in. You ask them what's happened in the picture, and uh, they can tell you why. I uh, yeah, and yeah. why they need the stuff in the picture. Uh, um, don't know how long it will last. And then they. There is a few different cards, but not but, but, not a lot of variety in it. But some, but some, um, but you can get some, and you can, and you can get some a long story about that, but that's only the story in there. Mhm, mm that's right. So, yeah, do you, would you keep this game, Isaac? Would you want to play it again in, later on? Keep it. You would want to keep it, would you? Yeah? Would you play it more? Yeah. Yeah? Does it challenge you to think? No. Sit up, please. No. No, it doesn't challenge you to think. I think it challenges you to think. Because you had to think what cards there was, wouldn't you, and what you needed to collect. Yeah. yeah. Even for adults, we we played it uh, first. The first thing I got this, um, took it to game. Uh, first, uh, first time I got this, took it to game night. It just happened to come in. We all sat down and played it, and we set it to the really difficult mode, and that's all the cards, no help with Loki. And on the last card, um, you basically have to. You don't flip it over. You remember what's on it, and you set those ingredients to aside to collect. And then you turn it over and hope for the best. Um, that would have been a fail. So you can really up the intensity. I don't know, adding more cards would help um, because you'll start running out of stuff in your bag. 
maybe you could add one more forest card but other than that it's a kids game at the end of the yeah, but, day it's not really but, for adults no no but, but adults can play adults can play i mean i play it with you don't i and i played it with my friends first time and we had a laugh it was it was, it was a lot of fun um so yeah if you want kids improve their memory or help them with their memory or just having a good time telling them a little adventure as you go through it it's good fun it, it lasts for like 20 minutes and we left but yeah. set up okay. memorizing getting your equipment and then going for the adventure about 20 minutes so oh no great game say goodbye isaac goodbye. that's goodbye from isaac bye from joel see you next time for our next one yeah Seen how it is on the on the camera. <laughs>